I knew I needed resources if I was going to track down Roscoe Bob Bryant. And hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits and put a generous price on his head. Plummer rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape, and that's where I thought I'd find him. It makes I knew that dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in 48. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. There were thieves and killers. Robbing travelers and hijacking gold. Like those that ran with Plummer. Some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. James, who worked in the stable. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's sons. Ordinary citizens who live a double life. Stealing and thieving and murdering your neighbors. Cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Dangerous, desperate individual. Plummer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to breach. I was outnumbered and in way over my head. But I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize. They must have thought I was too. Or had some kind of death wish. You're Seeing done. as there were barrels of gunpowder everywhere. Watch out for the goddamn I thought I was some kind of hero. I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. But first, I had something I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine. 
But once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. Let's do this. It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. Some of those shafts can be as deep as hell. A single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dad blasted tube. And I freely admit that my plan of attack was not just more honor, but clearly insane. It's a good thing. It was a long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. Of course, being I had a problem with heights, that scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. Because even though I had a younger man's reflexes, no man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. I needed to make a leap of faith. 
I was determined not to give up, however. As Sheriff Plummer seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the Sheriff was up to, people were outraged. That 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to helping me find the old Bob. to settle that score come hell or high water. But first, I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator, or climb the ladder. I picked the more convenient and more dangerous route. was a sheriff of both places at one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. Time to die! Uh. Uh. The point was, taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. Henry Plummer was clearly unhinged, and I could see right away that this was going to take some doing.
blow your shit off! They're gonna bury you in a million pieces! That's how Henry Plummer died. Him and his crew were worth their weight in gold. <laughs>